Hello, this is Jason G from Jason G's channel here, bring out my thoughts about Sonic Forces, the upcoming, upcoming Sonic game that's coming out in late of 2017. Well, first off, we have Sonic Mania that's coming because this came out last week, and it been it really got some really good scores. I'm really proud of Sonic Mania. I myself haven't played it yet since I bought the PC version, and it's been delayed, and I gotta wait for it. But with Sonic Forces, though. To be honest, I was more hyped for that game than Sonic Mania. Sonic Mania is a good game, but it's just Sonic Forces has piqued my interest more. We had things like elements like Eggman taking actually take over the entire world. The resistance is just the vibe, the hype was real for me. And with Sonic Mania, it was like bringing classic Sonic back from the past and it's basically a whole 2D platforming game and all that. It was good, I did like it, but for me, I was more interested in Sonic Forces because it was a whole 3D Sonic. When I grew up, I grew up playing 3D Sonic more and just I just grew up with 3D Sonic. I played the classic games later on, but it was just it was 3D Sonic that really brought, brought me to the franchise that made me the Sonic fan that I am today. It doesn't mean that Mania is bad, it's just I was more interested in Sonic Forces. Gameplay wise with Modern Sonic, it's bringing back elements as Sonic from Sonic Colors, Sonic Turn Racing, and Sonic Elite, like bringing elements from that. Those games are successful, so for Sega to bring stuff from successful games back into Sonic Forces, that's a good idea. But surprisingly, a lot of people said that they don't like seeing all these elements come back, but they want to see something new. I, I didn't know how to react to that when I first saw that. It was like these games were successful for for things that in Sonic Forces they're bringing stuff from these successful games back into Sonic Forces. So for people say they want to just want a brand new experience, that's just I don't know how to react to that. Cause Sega tried with new experience after Sonic Generations with Sonic Lost World, and that game was mediocre. People didn't like it. So with so with Sonic Forces trying to go back to the for, formula that's successful and people already don't liking it I'm really surprised at that bringing coming back is classic Sonic I'm I don't have a big problem with classic Sonic though though it's just I'm okay with classic Sonic to be honest I don't hate them I'm just in the middle mostly to I like them being there but him coming back, I understand how people say it's like Sonic Generation 2. Seeing him back, seeing Green Hill Zone back, possibly more rehash stages and all that, but keep in mind, Sega thinks that this is what we want. This is what the majority of the fans wanted. And when they reveal Classic Sonic, when they reveal Green Hill Zone, people actually didn't like it. They said there was too much, too much Classic Sonic, too much rehash stages, and they just called the game bad altogether. To me, I don't mind. I don't mind seeing Classic Sonic back. I don't really care for that. Classic Sonic coming back, it's okay. Just don't do it for every other game after that. And returning stages like Green Hill Zone or other stages, I don't have a problem with that. It's just when they say rehash stages, I I want to see rehash stages like a whole new, brand new experience for this. Like kind of like what Sonic Mania did with the rehash stages that they had in the game, especially Act Two. Seeing the Act Two stages was. Phenom phenomenal, I can't even say it was, I can't say it was. The seeing it was just amazing, seeing the new stages in Sonic Mania, but seeing the older stages, especially Act 2 stages, was just amazing, and I want to see that in Sonic Forces, and I, I started to see that little by little, it's not like big, but it's little, especially with Green Hill Zone, Classic Sonic, with the sand instead of water, and then some little details, but it still felt like, Green Hill Zone. It still felt somewhat new is but not really new. And apart from Modern Classic Sonic, we also had a new custom character thing. And am I skeptical? Skeptical? I can't pronounce nothing. What's going on? How I feel about the classics? I feel about the custom character. I'm actually quite interested with the custom character. But one of the things that I don't like is like. The custom character has a variety of items that you can put on it, but it doesn't have like a variety of animal traits. You have bear, bird, hedgehog, dog, cat, fox, but it's like, I want to see other animals in 
in the series, in the custom character line, like Crocodile or Chameleon or B. If I could be as a B in Sonic Forces, I'd probably be cool. I'd probably be better than Chami. Like Chami B 2.0, he's not annoying as he is in the actual series. I hate you, Chami. But yeah, I hope there's like. I hope we actually get more, like, actually more confirmed custom character traits, am ammo traits, ammo breeze, breeze, can I use breeze? Nah, no, it's not good. It's just, there's more animals out there, and I want to see other animals, like, I can have any other animal out there. Well, what animals I really want to use as my custom character is a cheetah. I love cheetahs. Cheetahs are awesome. They're fast. Faster than Sonic, what? Right? But seeing cheetahs in Sonic Forces, like a, something I can use, that'd be really, really awesome. So for the game altogether, gameplay, no graphics, it's not gameplay, yeah, graphics, it just looks beautiful. I just can't, Sega, Sega, Sonic games for two things, it was good for it, was graphics and soundtrack. The graphics in this game are just downright beautiful, and I just can't really see how other levels look, like the game altogether. And for the soundtrack, even though we hear a little, little bit of it, I'm actually quite, I really love the soundtrack. I know the soundtrack's gonna be good. And what's really pulling me in the game most was the theme, and that's for Infinite. I don't think we had like a, like characters having their own themes to them until the last game that did that was probably Sonic 06. And I love that about Sonic games. They had their own theme songs, all that basically explains the character in the game. And for the characters who stop, for the game, Sonic games altogether stop doing that, I just, I was like, wow. And for them to bring them back in Sonic Forces, especially with this all new, all new character, Infinite, it's just, we understand, I feel like we understand him more now, with this whole theme song, you know, Infinite, it's only me and you who is gonna save you now. <laughs> I just love the theme song, and I hope like characters in the story have no theme song. I hope Eggman gets one. I hope Sonic gets one. For the other NPCs, I don't think they actually need one since they're not gonna be like not playable. They might be important to the story, but I don't think they're as important that they, need, they all need their own theme song. So they don't, they don't matter. They don't matter. <laughs> they don't matter. But yeah, Sonic Forces just looks very promising to me. Do I feel like Sign Forces is gonna potentially fail? No, I have high hopes for Sign Forces. Sega confirmed that it been it been in development ever since the release of Sign Lost World. For a game to be worked on for that long, I, there's no doubt in my mind the game is gonna be good. There might be some problems here and there with the game, but I don't think the game is gonna be like terrible, unplayable, unfinished, all that. I feel like the game will be. Will be solid. It'll be a solid platformer, and it will be one of the Sonic Team's Sega Sega Sonic Team's. I said it right. Sonic Team's best game. So that's what I have for Sonic Forces. That's my opinion about Sonic Forces. But do I have anything? Do I have anything bad I want to say about Sonic Forces? Well, I don't have much anything bad to say about it. The one thing that's not sitting with me well is Return of Wish. It's not like a big thing with me because of how they were using it. Because now they're like weapons, like wrist bombs. I like that feature, but it's, I, I just can't copy the fact that wrists are back in Son in a Sonic game. Do I hate the wrist? No, but I just feel like a little bit better off if it just stayed in Sonic Colors. Sonic Generations it wasn't really a big deal; it was just one stage. Sonic Lost World, it was. It was just there to be there. That's what I didn't like, like most about the Wiz. I like seeing the Wiz back in Sonic Gloss World. I, I admit that, but it was just the Wiz was just there to be there. It didn't serve no purpose to the story or anything. And people saw the Wiz was completely optional as well. So it was just it wasn't really anything big for the gameplay. You could use it for extra points or extra extra items, but it was just it was just there. So that's why I'm I'm a little skeptic skeptic. That's why I'm a little iffy about the Wiz in Sonic Forces. But other than that, I really have high hopes for the game. I feel like the game will be a really good game. So, 
With all due said, I'm really hyped for Sonic Forces. And I can't wait to play Sonic Forces. I don't know what console I'm getting it on yet, but we'll just have to see when the game comes out. So if you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe for more of these, and I'll catch y'all later.